Good YouTube land, that worked back here with some more Dragon Ball Z team training. And we're finally moving on to the next part of the game. Now apparently those Pokemon I didn't remember I caught, I'm assuming I caught either in a in a grind in the grinding montage that I did or probably in one of the failed recordings and just I don't know what happened so. Yeah, I did catch them, and I did write them on my list, the routes I got them on, so when I go back to those routes, I can't catch another Pokemon. We're just getting... Ooh. I was willing to... Ri that was a risk that paid off. And oh look, it's a... Not a Pikachu. Heal. I'm basically, I'm recording this the day Ultra Sun and Moon come out. And I'm still not completely decided when I want to pick it up. Because, like, I've heard varying remarks from, oh, it's 80% the same game as Sun and Moon, to... It's different in ways. I'm trying to keep away from spoilers. Like, I've seen a lot of anger towards, like, the whole it's similar, but, like, why would people complain when that's the same kind of thing we got in Emerald... Platinum, even Crystal, all the way back then. Like, what, just complaining because it's two versions of a game that should only need one version? Okay, just... Nintendo wants to make more money. What's wrong with that? People are just notoriously cheap and don't want to spend money if they don't have to. I'm hoping soon to get Kakarot up to level 36 so we can evolve again. I realize I also have to train other Pokemon, so I'm trying a bit of that. I'm trying a bit of that. I don't know what that was. Goku's just go-to move is the Kamehameha, so... Kamehameha is everyone. Like, it's either punching, some Ki Blasts, or a Kamehameha. That's basically it. He rarely ever uses the Spirit Bomb, and he almost, well, he, he uses the Kaioken a lot more now, because he was able to mix it into his uh, Super Saiyan Blue. Which apparently had the potential to kill him. I forgot what route this is, so I'm just going to catch a Raccoon. Please work. Thank you. I caught a raccoon. You do well. Hmm. What do you name a raccoon? You know, I'll come, I'll come back to a nickname for him when I get to the name raider, because... What route is that? Route 9. Okay. I'm going to go check... I'm going to heal, honestly, and I'm going to check the PC if I've already caught something in Route 9. And I actually forgot I could speed up right there. 
Oops. Eight, eleven, thirteen, sixteen. Oh, no. Eleven. Okay, I was reading the wrong thing. Okay, I haven't caught anybody in Route 9, so that... I'll make sure to write that down. Now we shall continue... Onwards, not that way. I believe, is there an item here? Yeah, but I have to fight somebody, so... BRING IT ON! He's got a Joyce! Oh, he's got a Joyce. Yeah. Like, I could skip over Ultra Sun and Moon, but this is technically the very last game on Nintendo... Like, the last Pokemon game on 3DS to be released. Like, everything from this point is going to be released on the Switch. And I don't know when I'm going to get a Switch. So, I... It's kind of an important moment, you know? It's like, I feel... Not just obligated to buy it. But I just, honestly, I want to play it. Like, I... Hmm. It'd be nice to go... It'll be nice to go back to Alola. Because I remember a year ago, because the game came out approximately a year ago. Uh, I couldn't remember a better starting point, but uh, my stepfather is a huge wrestling fan, as am I. And he bought, he had tickets for a, a wrestling pay-per-view in Toronto. And he invited me, because it, it was not long after my birthday. This is only, what, two weeks? after my birthday so 13 days technically but nonetheless so I right before we left for Toronto like after my mother picked me up I literally right then and there asked her for the game and she's like okay so yeah I have a pretty cool mom in my opinion <laughs> And I remember sitting in the car, in the car van, playing the game for the first time, not really, like, paying attention to any spoilers, so not 100% sure what was going to happen, and as soon as I saw the, the mom of the main character, I looked at my mom, like, hey, it's you! <laughs> and she, she chuckled, she laughed a little bit that, at that, I don't know if she completely found it funny. Uh, I need to heal. Because I don't want anyone to die! Oh, that's just a patch of grass. I need a rest. Oh, crap. Why did I do that? Ha <laughs> ha! Aren't you a little tough? Uh, Jesus. Ooh, I like that flinch. That's why I like headbutt. For the potential to flinch. So... I do feel this desire to go back to regular Pokemon either just in general or on you on my channel so I'm kid I'm thinking of going back to your Pokemon uranium soon I don't know how soon but I also have uh, thoughts on playing other ROM hacks like that are Game Boy advanced ROM hacks because I have the emulator when it works I find that it works a lot better than the DS emulator 
Nope, don't want to go down there. This is Route 10. There's a Dragon Ball! Here's a thing that bugs me. In the notes for the game, there's supposed to be a pool of water right here that when you get Surf, it, it'll take you to the power plant, which will, ca which will let you encounter the, the equivalent of Zapdos in this game. Why can't I find that water? I have no idea. Because if, if I want to complete the Pokedex, that's kind of preventing me from it. That guy talking about type matchups. Ever present aids. Yeah, don't care about Neverstone. I'm just gonna run around. See, the power plant is right there. But I can't access it. There's nothing here that'll let me access the power plant. Route 9, Route 10. Okay, let's catch something else here. Raccoon. Nope, he's a dupe, so I'm just gonna beat him. Get in some training. Oh my god! His freaking jet kick is strong. 19 damage. Raccoon. I, I feel like it's all raccoons in this grass. There's a Zarbon. Okay. I need to buy more capsules now, I find. I just wasted my last great capsule and there's some act there's some pretty good stuff in this cave it's I probably spelled that wrong let me check No. Doesn't seem like it. Pretty... Pretty boy. Alright, I gotta write down Raccoon for Route 9 and Zarbon for Route 10. So, let's fight this person. The, who apparently always loses at gym battles. You got a ghoul, though. Oops, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Raccoon! I got somebody for you, somebody who's beaten you before and almost did it with one Kamehameha. Ooh, we got Goku to level 30 though. Now we get to go in the rock tunnel, which means I have to use uh, Taioken. Solar Flare! Damn it! Ah. Uh. I almost lost my encounter, but I did not want a bio man. Dr. Cochin! Are fast and they're. Bio man. Useless! That's what this is to me, useless! So you can grab an item. Okay, they're also Bjoings. I'm gonna switch for a minute. 
Just because I want more training on Kakarot. Against his brother. Kamehameha! Jesus! Alright, we beat, we beat Ashton Kutcher over here. There's stuff like this in the K in Rock Tunnel! There's freaking coolers! And I got a bio man. Yeah, that's completely fair. And there's first form Frieza! That's what I wanted! That's what I wanted to catch. First form Frieza! So do, 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 do. we're gonna go through this thing as fast as possible. Antenna beam. Oh, oh. Why did I go for Genki Dama? I don't know. I just wanna. He's level 29. I got two 29s and a 23. Or, you know what I mean. Team Go. Oh, Team Gohan. This is the first time we're seeing Team Gohan. Thankfully, I got the. I guess that was a speed tie, because I got the advantage the second time. I'll go home. That guy's apparently an artist. Ugh, I'm gonna move that Yankee Dama out of the way. Nope. There. Ooh, holy! Oh, right, I have holy water. Um, let's do that, which was a mistake. He he wants to learn punch, a fighting move. Nice. I'll give you a tail smash, just because. Horn attack is the exact same strength, but um, higher accuracy. Found a crystal that's a revive that's useless. Oh, there's Kid Gohan. We finally actually get to see what Kid Gohan looks like in this game. So the only mention being offered to trade for him. Can I train with you? Alright, Steve. You've got a Frieza. Ooh, that's not really dangerous, I guess. <laughs> but I, I want to catch a Frieza. Because its evolutionary line is awesome. It goes through every single... Form Frieza's had, even including Dragon Ball Super. And there's Sal. There's Salsa in here. I completely forgot about Salsa because he's very insignificant in the Cooler movie, in the Revenge of Cooler, I believe, or was it the first Cooler movie? And he's also hilarious in Dragon Ball of British because he has a French accent. Bon not at me, but not bon enough. Okay, tempted to spray repel. But I also can just run away. Hit me with your best shot! On fire away. That is literally the only lyric of that song I remember.
And he literally says, fire away. All right, I like that guy. Hoping to get out of this cave in five minutes or less. Which will probably be inaccurate. Just like Cinema Sins. Whenever they say how much how long the video is, it's always going to be longer than that projected time. Can you stop using telepathy? Oh my god. Fuck off. No, seriously. Fuck off. Now I have to switch. What's down there? Nothing. All right. Ooh. Although Kaiju's a lot stronger than he looks. Oh my god! That is dangerous. Oh damn, that barely did half. Alright, pick, picked up a flying Nimbus. Forgot to heal. That's a nightmare. Alright, I believe we're almost out of the cave. That looks scary. I got something you don't have. I got the Ozaru Bane! With a crit. Are there any more trainers? Probably. Am I gonna run, run away from all the battles? Yep. There's nothing up here. There's nothing down here. Blah, 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 something about bending plates. Yeah, I'm just gonna switch. Yeah. Even though I have only one move left. If it's a two-turn move, it still is good enough to kill. Good enough. I was gonna say, I don't know what the Cyberman can actually do to me. But, ni nothing. Neither can Krillin. Uh, I believe... Oh, that's a Gul'dan. Okay. That's... This is not the way out. Come on. I want to heal. So much healing in this game, in this episode. Where's Ratchet when you need him? Ooh. How about a Pokemon game set in the Transformers universe? That, that would also be cool. Okay. Nothing I can do. With Kaiju, with Jiren, and all, all you're using is guard. But we did just level up, which is sweet. 
Don't paralyze me, you fat bastard. I couldn't come up with anything creative right there. Oh, look, we're, we fought one of the Dudley boys. So, you're probably Bubba Ray. Where's Devon? This is this is a guy named Cooper with a young chap who sucks. Kiwi. Now, now, fuck off now. Just let me kill you now. Bidoof, 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 bidoof. Oh god. We still have much to go. You know, I can come back and train on them. Why couldn't I? Why I couldn't run away? I have no idea. Even if this is a half hour long video, I'm still just getting out of this cave. Because I don't scare. Ooh. Nice. This is a bad idea, but if he's just gonna lock on and no shit, run, run for it, punch him. Okay, that's good. I believe we're reaching. Yes, the exit. Nothing over there. Oh my god, am I that stupid? Is th is that the actual water? That... Okay, I think I am that stupid. But we've made it to the town of creepy music. Let me heal and then end this. Makio Town. The town. I guess this is the town of the dead. But, uh. Yep. That pretty much wraps up today's episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, well, we're, we're gonna explore the tower next time, and I'm probably gonna do some grinding in between. Try, try and get most of my team up to 25, 27 range. Whether I record that or not is my discretion, but yeah. until next time, keep it weird. <laughs>